Okay, Sagittarius. Feeling that bit of Jupiter energy. Let's get into our breath so we can catch these blessings. Making sure the space is fully clear so you're ready to catch whatever's coming in. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so it's like some. I was gonna say, okay, but I said, oh, wait. So it's like being indecisive and feeling indecision. It's like you were ready. But then somebody said, wait. Whether it was you or, I don't know, somebody. It's harvest time. Harvest time. Success. So maybe it was someone. Someone saw this big success coming in. Mm-hmm. Seed. Someone saw this seed that you're planting. Having that intention to grow like a seed and bloom is at the heart of creativity. So somebody saw you blooming and they said, wait, because they want to communicate something with you. Communication, the clarity, interactivity, and timing of communication is critical. Originality, feel the light-hearted light and free while trusting that your unique way of doing things is the right way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So who wants my Sagittarius to wait? Wait for what? Oh, okay. So the Queen of Pentacles. Wait for healing. Wait for support. Wait for nurturing. So really nurture this goal. Wait. So maybe somebody is trying to be sneaky and dishonest and get away with something without clearly communicating. Or somebody could have even tried to be stealing this seed that you planted. Yeah. But they're like, oh my gosh, it's growing. Growing, let me take this. Originality, yeah. Ugh. Knight of Wands. Feisty, creative, lusty. Huh. So somebody's trying to be creative and offer something. I don't know, I'm gonna stick with somebody who's trying to take your seed. Somebody who's trying to take your your goal from you, your position at work, and they lacked originality. They were even trying to, you know, copy the things you were saying, possibly, to get this. Mm -hmm. And it left you stuck in a nightmare, or either them. This could be them. Oh, gosh. Hold on. Okay. So take this part as it motherfucking resonates because I'm also seeing someone who um, tried to start a goal and didn't clearly communicate with someone about it, tried to start something new and tried to get away with it. And we can go back to, you know, you planting something and someone tried to steal it, which left either you or them depressed, stuck in a nightmare. One person was healing, one person was nurturing the skull, and the other one was stuck in a nightmare. But look, there's still abundance and success and a joyous outcome. It's like they weren't able to get away with it. It's like they thought you only planted one seed, but there was like fucking 20. Page of Cups, what is this? Going on here. Page of Cups in reverse. 
Hmm. Why the Page of Cups in reverse? What is this? So somebody's not wanting to offer something. Intuition off. Oh, we got the High Priestess in reverse. So someone did come in and did that regarding because you weren't in touch with your high priestess, you weren't in touch with your intuition. King of Swords in reverse. That plan, that that they have still battling some sort of instability instability page of swords and there's still something deceptive going on yeah look sneaky trying to get away with some disagreements you know through the you know having trouble communicating Well, you caught them trying to sabotage your shit. King of Cups in reverse because they weren't even in touch with their emotions because they lacked originality. Yeah, we're going back to that. But because you're original and you're doing things authentically, the wheel's going to turn in your favor. Because they weren't being honest. They weren't being honest. Queen of Swords in reverse. They weren't self-sufficient. That's why even when they tried to build off what was yours, you know, it fucking shifted their whole life out of place. It could have even fucked with their household. Boundaries coming down. So now, you know, you're in the clear. You're in the clear. And look, something's... Someone's coming to offer something. Someone who has their own seed to plant. Someone who is healed. Someone who sees that you're healing. And bringing your wishes to life. Seeing that you're a magnet for luck, and they're possibly a magnet for luck too, look. Mm. Their guards are down, they're not blocking, they don't have to protect themselves against competitions, because they don't see you as that. King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody is trying to come back in, but they can't because we're going through this necessary transition. You're relocating, and even you know, just relocating, um, changing your mindset. You're relocating, you're moving on from it, but they're not, they're stuck, and they're stuck watching you move on from it. This could be friends, a partnership, a person at work, or work, travel, teamwork, expansion. You're growing, you're leveling up. You're refueling, healing, yeah, refueling, relearning yourself, but refueling your cup. The divines are also doing for you. Big things coming in, even marriage, could be even marriage coming in through this healing process. King of Wands, huh, bold, courageous, charming, is that you, your partner, someone coming in, awakening that passion again, what's going on, okay, so the chariot, so now you don't have to keep 
I'm going off on a new journey over and over again. Now you can stay put. Now you can be content. Now you can sit on your throne and just chill. Victory. Good news. Time to rest. You know? Time to just celebrate. Celebrate the success coming in. Time to rest. I just saw Six of Pentacles because you're going to be into in a job where it's reciprocated. What you give, you get back. But Four of Swords, rest, retreating, recovering, solitude. Which allows you to tap into both your masculine and feminine energies. Which makes you a match for that. Whether it sparks something in your relationship, your current relationship, your job, or falls within juggling options. It's going to bring in options for you. You're going to have a lot of options. Celebrations. Wow. So it's that marriage, yeah? Celebration. Celebrating the lovers, the empress. Could be even celebrating a baby coming in. Or the birth of a new goal, yeah? The new goal. With a new you. Taking a risk, going on a new adventure, restoring something. So it could be restoring a relationship or resurrecting one from past lives, resurrecting something from the past, or finally putting it to an end. I don't know. Yeah, a new beginning though. New beginning, resurrection. Because you're able to rest and recover and finally take care of yourself. Yikes. Sorry, I just saw something else. I don't want to. Yep, take care of yourself. Knight of Swords coming in quick. So let's end it with that. Coming in quick. No more competition. Because, you know, they can't beat you at something that was never for them. I guess that, did I say that story? I think I told that story on Instagram that I had a vision last night that there's this person, I don't know if it was a man or a woman, I just saw like energy. And they're, they're going up this staircase, but they stop off to the side to just um, really observe the plants and they see some dragonflies and butterflies and just really enjoying themselves. Yes, they're shifting their perspective is what they were doing. The hangman of the tower fell out. So they're just really shifting their perspective and getting in tune with nature and then here comes this person zooming by. Zoom! And they're like, what the fuck? Who the hell is that? What the hell? Where the hell are they rushing off to? And then... Finally, when you get to the top... We could even be talking about getting to the top of this motherfucking tower, but finally when you get to the top... They're at the top with someone else, and they're bragging about how they made it up there before you. And you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know that this was a race, and I actually was saying that it was the rabbit and the hare. And I was like, the rabbit and the hare? That's not what it's called. It's called the fucking tortoise and the hare. And Spirit was like, I said what the fuck I said. So it's like somebody was impersonating you, you know? And that went back to your cards. Like, they lacked the originality, so they even 
and personated you and made it to the top by doing so. But somehow when you got to the top and when they're bragging about the shit, something happened and something caused them to fall all the way down their stairs. And it was just you and this other person left at the top. And you said, I didn't even know it was a race. And you just smiled. And it ended. That made me think about your your cards that I pulled. It's like, you know, it's not going to work out in your favor. Get a good card from your angels and ancestors. So you'll see things from a higher perspective. Whoever's trying to beat you to to the fucking punch. Yeah, timing. You are in the creative flow. You feel everything flowing together in divine order. This is in reverse, though. So you're not in a creative flow, and you feel like, you know, things aren't working out for you, but they really are. All in divine timing. They might even make it up there first, but they could get knocked down real fucking quick because... They were trying to race off to somewhere that wasn't even for them. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'll leave it with that. Bye.